Hello everyone, my name is Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, welcome to the channel. Today we have the 1.11.x roadmap for Dauntless here. It's kind of a little bit late, you know, uh, we've got 1.11.2 coming out in a couple of days now, but we at least have an update to what the timeline for these events is going to look like. And we actually have something in the 1.11.2 patch that isn't actually listed on here, but it is actually kind of a big deal, so we will have to wait and see on the 1.11.2 patch notes. Those should be coming out either later today or tomorrow. But let's get into this right here. You guys know the deal. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's see if we can hit 40k subs by the end of this year. So the first couple sections of this are things that are already in the game. You know, we got Lightbound Boreas, we got the current hunt passes, and then all of this stuff from back here. So that may have 1.11.1, 1.11.2. It just says quality of life updates, bug fixes, Technically, in those quality of life updates, there is a pretty major change coming in the next couple of days here. Uh, but again, we'll have to wait for the 1.11.2 patch notes before I can share that with you guys. But in 1.11.3, we start our island adventures journey with the garden. I don't know, I hope these island adventures do give us some other type of thing to do in the hunting grounds adequately. Then in 1.11.3, we have the returning hunt passes, Krolaki Flame and Divine Armor. Divine Armor was actually pretty recent, if I remember that correctly. And then the Krolaki Flame, I believe, came out last year. But we have another thing in 1.11.3, Guild and Title Visibility. So they are going to give us some sort of name tag type deal that will display our guild and title while we are walking around over our name which is pretty welcome because titles have been basically useless ever since the reforge system came out because the whole point of a title was you queue up for a hunt and then the people get to see your title they're like whoa this, this guy has this title right but uh the hunting grounds kind of took that away completely and then bringing more attention to guilds the fact that guilds exist in the game like uh when i did a when i did a bit on the guilds like a, a week or two ago uh, some of you guys said you have been playing for X amount of time and didn't even know a guild system existed in the game, which is exactly why it's one of the worst systems, because many people just don't even know that it exists. All right, and then at 1.11.4, we have the variant upgrade Fenroar, and then in a, in a bit of a twist, something pretty much didn't see coming is that it'll also be getting a dire variant for Earthshaper Fenroar. Now, we were already aware that Terra Embermane was going to be upgraded in 1.11.4, but we didn't know that was going to be coming with a dire variant of it as well. That might make this variant upgrade a little bit more interesting, but I, I think it's about time for a new new behemoth or a new new game mode, right? Because all we've gotten is uh, variant behemoths so far and variant upgrades. Uh, I think it's time for, you know, in 1.12, 1.12.1 or something, we should probably get a brand new behemoth. But these guys will be coming on September 8th, as we see here, and they should be bringing along a new weapon set and a unique effect, as well as a new cell. It doesn't say it here, but I believe that should also be coming with an armor set as well. Uh, I, I, think, I think they just missed out on the armor portion of this. But a new cell, I would imagine, is probably going to be somewhat along the lines of, you know, the parasitic type type or a shielding thing if it were going to be themed along with Fenroar here. And then 1.11.5, they just still have these uh, quality of life updates and bug fixes. That was it for their title card roadmap, but we do actually have a full roadmap update here. And look at this, we have a new behemoth in, uh, in concept. So probably something we'll be seeing in the 1.12 series. Oh, and this is actually going to be the final version of the community creation designed on a live stream. Uh, let me actually pull that image up so we have a little bit close. Uh, it, pro it will probably not be remotely the same as this concept art, but this is the concept art that was done. Uh, I did show it in a video before, I believe. This was the concept art that they did on the live stream for, I believe it was an Umbral Behemoth. So this this looking pretty cool. It probably won't be remotely similar to this, but that it's, they said it was the final rendition of what this concept was. Point is, that's basically what, where this concept is started. 
interesting to see where this is going to finish. The seasonal progression thing has been set to on hold instead of just in concept. So with this saying it's on hold, probably would not something we would see for like 1.13. I think there are just too many ways they could go about this for them to develop a firm idea of what they want to do with it. But yeah, it doesn't look like they've made any, any further comments about this. It's just that they've put it on hold, probably just because there are so many things they could possibly do with it. Tonic refresh and rebalance is still in here basically i think the goal here is to take away like the damage and attack speed bonuses from tonics and put those into the build elsewhere so that tonics are really more of an optional thing instead of you know absolute meta defining but even then i wouldn't say tonics are so overpowered that they are basically required it's just the best way to get the attack speed and i think the attack speed is really the thing that they need to focus on here because certain non-catalyst builds can certainly catch up with the catalyst builds if performed with correctly but i would say for quite a few people it's probably more about the comfort of having consistent attack speed uptime in production the new game mode is in production. The Endless Hunt game mode, I really hope this is 1.12. You know, I, I was really hoping that this was 1.11.3 material before, you know, we got the, the updates on what 1.11.x would be. I'm really hoping this is sooner rather than later. We do need a bit of a push that a new game mode which is just endless, could provide. Trials update, we have a little bit of new information in here. Phalanx and Flameborn Quillshot will be available in Lady Lux trial. And the Drask and Shroud trials will be Thunderdeep Drask and Bloodshot Shroud. And they say Lady Lux trials will be adjusted to focus more on Behemoth Combat and less on random modifiers. Now, the wording of this, they say each trial is going to have a reduced number of modifiers, but many Behemoths will be tougher to take down. I hope that doesn't mean they're just going to increase the HP because when you also increase the HP by a ton, that also increases the variance on what attacks the behemoth is going to do throughout the course of a trial, which actually might end up deleting more RNG to get those top times than the modifiers were responsible for. The extra time that the behemoth is up and attacking you want that behemoth to do a specific attack after it gets up from whatever animation you just broke it into. And say you're already a minute and 30 seconds in the run and it does the wrong attack, then, you know, it's it's game over. Your, run, your run's over, you just wasted, you know, a minute and 30 seconds, when if it maybe did the wrong attack at the beginning of a fight, that's only wasting, like, you know, 10 seconds. Something that I would think people are more concerned with than just the random modifiers ending their runs is the amount of time that is spent on loading screens when in trials. Loading screens are probably the worst part about Dawnless Trials. Probably takes around a minute, two minutes on average to actually just get into your next hunt and then that run could die in the first 10 seconds and you have to wait another two minutes before you can do it again. Still in production, we have Behemoth Bard Alchemy, Behemoth Balance, uh, the hunting specific behemoths in the hu hunting grounds, and Valamir improvements still still getting chucked into production here. Uh, Fenroar and Earthshaper Fenroar we just talked about. So we do get a little more information on the island adventure in this. Uh, it says the first adventure launches in 1.11.3, find the Far Slayer Gardener on Ulrich's Peak. So this will be a little more of an early game hunt at launch, but, you know, perhaps that's a good thing. Maybe test it out a little bit before giving us an end game area to explore and fight in. This is all in the testing section right now. We have guild and title visibility. Show off that rare title you earned. Let the world know which guild you fight for. But it's like also those people who did get the Dauntless title from Trials, you know, you finally got your top five. Now it will actually be visible in Ramsgates and stuff. We've got rumor improvements. Uh, they were doing stuff. I believe they did stuff like this already, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Use the hand in, which takes items, and at least reword it or completely get rid of some of those from taking those away. New gear set and unique effect. With the timing on this, it you know, this is coming in 1.11.4 as we have looked at. This might be a Fenrir set. This might not be a Fenrir set. I don't know if we're getting two at the same time, but... You know, I, I think this is probably the Fenrir set, if I had to guess. And the title card of the new cell just says, This cell requires true skill to make the most out of its power. Don't really, don't really know what that means. We'll have to wait and see. But that is basically going to be it for our roadmaps here. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for Fenrir at all? Do you think it's going to be a different enough experience for you to be excited? What do you guys think this new cell is going to be? And thank you guys for watching. Once again, drop a like for me. Subscribe to the channel for more Dauntless news. Again, on the road to 40k. And I have been Trevor. I go by the Mr. Trails. And I will catch you guys next time.